Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel that covers a lot of Outlander stuff. Today we'll have a look at this option. One of my regular viewers, Koshal, reached out to me and asked about the feature. He has this Outlander, can just figure out from uh, owner's manual from the settings. So you know how there's, once you put in reverse, there's this feature that your rear view mirrors fold down. Uh, he couldn't figure out like where's that feature, how you turn it off and on how to activate there's a trick to it i'll show you right now so once you put in reverse the mirrors fall down automatically you can choose which size which sorry which side you want to fall down or you can disable that function if you don't want to so thank you for that question and comments if you do have any outlander related uh, questions please leave a comment i'll try to answer all of them and now let's check out that feature how to turn it on and off and now let's check how those settings work so this is a beautiful, fully loaded, two-tone interior. Okay, the vehicle is running. It's important when you do this, uh, the vehicle has to run. Okay, let's have a look at these mirror settings. So you can adjust the driver's side and the passenger side mirror, okay, left and right. Now, when you press a mirror and then this light comes up, so basically, if you press the driver's side mirror and this light comes up, that mirror will fall down. If you press the passenger side, that mirror will fold down. If you want to deactivate and you want to make sure that none of the mirrors fall down, you simply click this again, the light disappears, and now none of the mirrors will fold down, okay? Now let's try it in real life. Let's uh, see if it actually works. So let's start with the driver's side. Okay, so let's turn this on. And now I'm gonna put in reverse and let's see if this will actually fold down. So I'm putting in reverse. There you go, mirror fold down. Now, if you, of course, you back it up, you do your thing as you start to drive forward. So put it in drive and let's start drive forward. It'll, it'll basically unfold back to the normal position. There we go. Just unfold it back to the normal position. And again okay so now let's put back in parking let's deactivate this here as soon as you deactivate it goes back to the normal position now what we'll do is we'll try the uh, the passenger side okay so let's tr turn this on and the passenger side okay let's see let's put it in reverse and this folded down and this one stayed the same And now we put in drive, start to drive. And there we go, it flipped back up. Now let's try to unselect. So none of the lights work, so let's check. Reverse, doesn't fold, and that one doesn't fold. Easy. So now we put it in parking. And that's it. So basically, like I said, super easy. You have these power buttons here. If one lights up, that mirror is gonna fold down. The other one, the passenger mirror is gonna fold down. If you don't want any mirrors to fold down, you just deselect the buttons and that's it. So there you go, quick tip of the day. If it was helpful, like the video, leave a comment if you have any other outlander related questions i'll try to answer all of them thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by the way helps the channel grow thank you and see you next time